Just with more on what you need to know if you plan on casting a ballot today. Hi, Gabe. That's right, Megan. So the 22nd Congressional District has been vacant on Capitol Hill for about three months, ever since Devin Nunes resigned from his job as congressman at the beginning of the year. So this special primary will be one of the first elections in the midterm cycle statewide. So here's a look at the candidates. Now, there are six of them, four Republicans and two Democrats. And a key takeaway is that the winner of this race will only serve till the end of the year. That's because redistricting essentially split portions of the district district and another election will be held with a redrawn map of the new district boundary. So joining us now to discuss further is County Clerk James Goose um, to tell us so um, how many voters are in the district and how does the turnout look like so far? Morning, Gabe. So we've got about 260,000 active registered voters in, con in Congress 22 in Fresno County, a little over 400,000 total between the two counties, Fresno and Tulare. We've had about 40,000 vote by mail ballots returned as of Monday morning. And this could really go one of two ways, right? So assuming that a candidate does get the majority of the votes, which is the 50 plus one percentage, how soon could those votes be certified and how soon could they realistically take office? So we're planning to have our certification completed by April 14th in Fresno County and we'll provide those results to the state who will make the final determination of a winner. If we do have a winner here on April 5th, then we're looking at mid to late April before our new representative would be set and sat in Congress. All right, and if it does go to a runoff, um, what will happen then? If we go to a runoff, we'll have that runoff, the special general election will be consolidated with our statewide primary election on June 7th. And that means about half of our voters would actually have two congressional races on their ballot, a fairly unique situation, and kind of once in a lifetime yeah. that we're gonna have going on their opportunity. And another rare situation is just how much this election has costed taxpayers, right? Because explain why that is. So we estimate we're going to be about 600 or $750,000 for this election. And special elections do usually actually cost a fair bit. Luckily, this time around, we do have some money left over from last fall's gubernatorial recall election. So we believe that there will be no extra cost to Fresno County voters for this election. That usually doesn't happen. The state doesn't usually pay for special elections, so we're very happy to have the extra funds available for this one. All right, sounds good. And let's take a look at the graphic so you can see where those voting locations are. So uh, what time are polls open? What time do they close? And what do voters need to know? So our, our vote centers today will be opening at 7 a.m., just a few minutes here, and they'll close at 8 p.m. We also have drop boxes that are going to be open all day until 8 p.m. And we do have a drive through drop off here at our Kern Street office where you can just pull right up and they'll be able to help you out there. Again, open until 8 p.m. If you are in line, if you're dropping off your ballot at 8 p.m., it will be accepted. You will get to vote. But if you're late, the polls close and you will not be able to vote after 8 p.m. All right, sounds good. And with the drive through locations, just making it easier for people to cast their ballots, right? Thank you so much for your time. I know you're busy. And we'll have more information about those locations on our website, yourcentralvalley.com. Megan, back to you. All right, Gabe, thank you so much for the info there. It's 6.53 now and coming.